The 2015 UNEP Emissions Gap Report is really a very important one because it comes at a time when countries are going to be meeting in Paris to negotiate and come to an agreement on how we are going to combat climate change over the coming century. The report is based on the best available scientific evidence and combines knowledge from all over the world. It tells us some very important things. First of all, it tells us that the current policies are working and they're helping to actually limit the amount of emissions of greenhouse gases. But the new pledges, the actual decisions made by countries of what they're going to do up until 2030 are really crucial. They add not only to the emissions reductions, but they start the transformation for society to really tackle climate change in the longer term. Are they enough? No, we need to do a lot more. What they do as a package is bring us onto a, tr a three degree centigrade trajectory, which means that we have not avoided dangerous climate change. To make that shift, to bring us into the safe limits of being below two degrees centigrade by the end of the century, we have many options. And the Emissions Gap Report contains many of those ideas, whether it's in energy efficiency, the way our buildings operate, the way we grow our food, ultimately the way we live in society. Those options are there for the taking, but early action is really crucial. It not only reduces the cost, but it means that we bend the trend sooner and we can see that transformation happening throughout society much more quickly and we can generate a new way of dealing with some of the problems. The report contains many numbers and figures and scenarios for the future, but the crucial things to remember are that we have some uncertainty in front of us. So the more that we can do, the earlier we do it, the more likely we are to put ourselves onto a safe pathway and avoid dangerous climate change within our lifetime.